After more than a decade of hard work, China possesses the world's biggest high-speed rail network. More than 40,000 kilometers, or twice around the equator, would have been covered by China's high-speed rail network by 2021. China has not only worked with other nations on a number of international projects, but has also established and completed its own projects all over the world. Displaying to the world has been an important goal for China. That's some serious rail tech right there. Germany, formerly reluctant to work with China, is now doing so. To assist China in updating its rail network, Germany will pay 90 billion. I will explain why this 90 billion euro project is so crucial for Germany in this video. Now, let's get going. Germany, a nation having advanced railway, manufacturing, and design expertise, and a peak speed of 200 km per hour, opted for China in 1964. An impressive degree of achievement. The first railroad ever constructed was in Germany. After that, development on new trains in Germany got underway. By 1991, they had built one that could reach speeds of up to 200 km per hour. Most nations in the 20th century only allowed trains to go up to 100 km per hour. So it's no surprise that most people in the 21st century are frustrated with Germany's rail system, despite its single carry. Well, so what's up? Although Germany's early development of its industrial sector set a high bar for the development of the country's railway network, only around 70s of the country's high-speed train lines can achieve speeds of more than 160 to 220 km per hour. Once a source of immense prosperity for the Germans, railroads are now a major drain on the country's resources. The lines are quickly deteriorating and a large portion of the German rail network is now antiquated. Put another way, about one train out of every three will be late. Massive railway delays in Germany not only waste a lot of money but also put people's safety at risk. Train delays, cause more delays, and beginning in 2013, Customers have paid the German-Italian railway about 40 million euros in compensation. To compensate victims of accidents in 2014, the railroad system paid out approximately 100 million dollars in damage. Businesses have lost a total of 300 million euros due to the delays caused by the railroad issue, which has not been resolved. I would guess that most Germans have experienced train delays more than once. There's been a steady increase in the number of individuals in Germany who are unhappy with the train system. In order to alleviate the existing train congestion, Germany's primary goal at the moment is to modernize and repair the railway as quickly as feasible. Yet, growth in Germany has slowed recently. Construction will take longer and cost more due to the increased demand for workers when the railway is reconstructed. This was a terrible ordeal for Germany. It is why Germany decided to work with other nations to fix the railway. Despite this, it is clear that there are a lot of possible safety dangers, as shown by the large number of railway upgrading projects, many of which have been abandoned to enable China to better the present status of German railroads. Germany entrusted China with the responsibility of maintaining and repairing the railway after conducting a series of comparisons and assessments. Reports indicate that Germany has committed over $90 billion. Germany donated $65 billion of the total $90 billion. The remaining $25 billion was financed by Dutch bonds, and most of this massive cash will be used by 2030 to extend the existing German rail infrastructure and establish a number of new lines. So why did Germany choose Japan before China when handing up control of a major technology initiative? Yet, China's high-speed rail technology was developed after Japan's and is perhaps more advanced. Japan's high-speed rail system, Shinkansen, is among the most advanced in the world. Japan has achieved significant advances in recent years in train production and railway technology. Above all else, there is little doubt that Japan and Germany are still close friends and frequently interact productively. When Japan helped India build a high-speed rail network, however, Germany lost all faith in the country. India's plans to begin building the mother and why. The Japanese government planned to lend India $12 billion at attractive credit rates to fund the building of a 500-kilometer heist. Speed Rail Line in Nevada in 2015, Whale Line in Nevada in 2015. The government of India has issued a public request for proposals for the construction of a high-speed rail system. Given China's view that Japan's terms were too advantageous, France and Germany were not allowed to make bids. In 2020, three regular service on the Mumbai Aba high-speed rail is expected to begin. Seven years have passed since construction on India's high-speed rail line started in 2017. Nevertheless, the country has barely traveled around 10 kilometers. 
The Japanese government's plans to build a high-speed railway in India have hit a snag as of late, with work having yet to commence and investment expenses soaring. The ambitious infrastructure project is scheduled to begin construction in 2028, and it will serve as a symbol of contemporary Japan's and India's collaboration in the eyes of the country's high-speed train companies. Severely impacted by the project's failure, notwithstanding Japan's lack of direct responsibility, in light of Japan's response, German officials were concerned that their country would find itself in a similar situation on the other side of the world. China has been quite helpful in assisting other nations in developing their infrastructure. It's true that some of these see, have already constructed their infrastructure before it was needed. China may soon be seen as the nation most responsible for the worldwide expansion of the world's physical infrastructure. After considerable debate, Germany has decided that China should take on this difficult assignment. From these numbers, it should be clear that the world at large now recognizes the superiority of China's infrastructure. If you're looking for a place with plenty of bridges, go no farther than China. The nation boasts the most bridges in the world and is home to 90 of the top 100 bridges in the world. Our calculations suggest that China has built more over 139,000 kilometers of track, making it the world leader in this regard. As China began constructing its railway system, amid a myriad of other challenging train projects, work was ongoing on high-speed rails that would eventually stretch over 35,000 kilometers. Finalization of the, the construction of the rails to Yulin and Qinghai, Tibet is complete. To put it simply, this is the most crucial fact about China. Beijing's Channing Intercity Railway, which can travel at speeds of up to 350 kilometers per hour, opened to the public in 2008 open to the public in 2008. As a result, high-speed rail travel throughout the whole of China is now more time and cost effective than ever before. Even though other nations have begged China for assistance, the country has not slowed down in its development of this technology. In addition, China will provide both technology and people resources to help. A high-speed railway that links to other lines in the nation was built in Tailin with the help of a Chinese infrastructure team. China's investment in Laos's transportation infrastructure has boosted the country's economy. Sincerely, China, for helping out. In addition, the Chinese infrastructure team trained Indonesian workers on how to utilize the technology and helped with the building of high-speed rail in the country. As the Chinese construction team is finishing up the final touches on the German railroad before moving on to building the infrastructure, this is a huge boon for the Indonesian job market and employment opportunity. China's infrastructure will undoubtedly keep becoming better in the years to come. When that time arrives, European countries will be able to assess China's infrastructure reliability and witness even more exciting initiatives that will blow your mind. Cut off the video at the bottom.